Hi, welcome on Xmonad. I've just did a clean install with the March version. And um, we're going to talk about system icons. You can install or choose to install in Xmonad two kind of menus. So I have done that already and it's already explained in a video online. And it says you have to go to X Arc Linux and Xmonad and then just keep typing tab. You need to choose between either a polybar, which has system icons, or an Xmonad XMO bar, so the last one, that's what you're looking at, without system icons. So we've done already that installation, we can do it again, but won't do a thing, because it's already installed, zero upgrade, it says here. So, fine. Now, talking about the system icons. We don't have any system icons here at this point in time. Are they needed? Well, most of the time you don't need them, but like it always is in life, never 100%. Let's say 90% of the cases you actually don't need it. I have another computer open here on the site and the one of the first icons I see there is a Bluetooth connection. Control Alt M. I go to my Bluetooth and I set it up. That's a an, an, an way to approach it, you see? So I can close this. I have my Bluetooth adapter is on my other PC. So, but it's, it's, it's possible. It's only a shortcut. You have to know Ctrl Alt M or Super Shift D and you are, are counting on the XFCE settings. That was Ctrl Alt M, XFCE uh, preferences settings. Okay, close. Second icon is a clipboard, which is Ctrl C, Ctrl V, so I won't miss it and never use it anyway. Then it's something tricky that's coming, and that's the network icon, so from the network manager. That's maybe something that you would like to have. Um, it can be done in, an, uh, in a terminal, but why? What the heck, right? So I'm gonna keep that as last one. We, that's that's something that you want to have like for instance setting up VPNs it's going to be very tricky to do that in a terminal so why go to all the length if it's just fixed in 50 seconds more or less so okay for that icon if you're not having internet connection uh, I have an internet connection but otherwise I would not be able to do this so most of the people will have no problems once you're connected to the internet you will have uh, no problem whatsoever just maybe to select another wireless but for the wireless we can go in a terminal as well but let's that for, do that for later then the other icon i see there is the the pamac updater Control alt p there is your pamac and if you want to update you update things and you can ask refresh my database so you see if there are updates to do that's the same approach graphical then we are doing always in our system with update and a PKSYUA. I haven't shown that. So that's not necessary, necessary to have an icon either. Then there's a variety. In variety, we have um, the alt N is working. The alt, let's kill this here. Alt N, let's kill also the conky. That's there to help you. Don't need it anymore afterwards. And Alt P is the previous, Alt N is the next. Let's stretch this one. This is my favorite. I'm gonna control Alt F it, but it's already favorite because this is part of our Arch Linux wallpapers, the new wallpapers that I've put online. So all the, the, the elements are working, but if you want to have, um, for instance, the preferences, well, that you can just type it in and you forget things. So the only thing you need to remember is either dash dash help or a dash h either of these guys works on depending on what application you run just try it and you'll see and you have your all the shortcuts well behind an an alt n is uh, then this one the next one an alt p is the previous one so that's it works and what you need to remember is the preferences so if you say okay I want to ch check out the preferences. Do I need to have an icon in my system bar? No, you don't. Just type it in and we get a pop-up 
and you set your things any way you see fit. For instance, I'm not sure if I have already installed Dropbox. I have installed Dropbox apps desktopper. Okay. So when I press now Alt F, when there's a wallpaper that is awesome that's coming from desktopper, I'll just press Alt F and it's in my Dropbox set. Um, what else? The last icon is sound clock and my name. So the clock is here. The name is to quit. So super X, I can quit all anytime I want. And the, the sound. So control Alt U. This is your Pavu control. So the pulse audio volume control. Set everything you like and then forget about it. Again, the sound is available here as well, but the sound, it can be muted here, but you can also just use your keyboard shortcuts, either the keyboard as such. So more now noise here, less noise here. You see when I press my keyboard button for more noise and less noise, muting everything and of course stop play, etc., is working on your, um, well, music player. So there you are. Um, we can do all those things. But what if we have one left, the network, right? So we're not gonna make it a geeky video, we're gonna make it an easy video. And one thing you can do, and we have provi provided the file for it now, today, uh, for Polybar, but you need to install an application. sudo pacman minus s the stand alone so st stand alone tray we have a tray that stands alone so try to remember the name like that install it again in my case and then stand alone just run it and it's gonna be popping up on my other screen obviously and it's just a little thing that pops up a little window like so many windows ctrl t you know this is a tiling window manager, so we have this same kind of look. So whatever it is you're looking for, this is my icon that I have. And uh, you can have this as well if you well want to set anything regarding to your connections. And you can uh, do whatever you want. For instance, I tried to set up a VPN through the, the terminal and it's it's just rubbish it's so easy it's it's a waste of time uh, 20 seconds or less and i have my vpn up and running so better than just to kickstart this standalone tray when everything is set you say okay whatever i'm gonna stop everything and that's that so this is another uh, possibility for you guys who are working on xmonad with xmo bar missing some system icons run the standalone tray and set it, forget about it again afterwards. All right, cheers.